Create a 3D rendered view. First set up the view. Use the navigation palette to make any design layer the active layer. Change the view to left isometric. Click the flyover tool on the basic palette. Click OK to dismiss the helpful dialog and on the toolbar click interactive origin mode. Click once somewhere toward the centre of the garden to set the centre of rotation. Click and drag on the left mouse button to change the view to something pleasing. Remember you can also use fit to objects to bring the scene back onto your screen. Choose view, create viewport. Complete the create viewport dialog as follows, leaving all other settings on their defaults. Viewport name, two. Drawing title, 3D Perspective View. Create on Layer, Sheet 1 Layout. Click OK. The Perspective Viewport is displayed in wireframe mode on the same sheet as the Plan Viewport. The viewport will display a red striped border, indicating that it needs updating. Rendering on a sheet layer only occurs when you update the viewport. However, we're now going to improve the render before updating the viewport. RenderWorks is required for this step. Click the selection tool, click and drag on the viewports to move them and create a pleasing layout on the sheet. Render the 3D view. Choose File, Document Settings, Document Preferences. Click on the Display tab and ensure that Save Viewport Cache is checked. This will ensure that once the viewport is rendered, it will be saved in this state so that you don't have to render each time you open the file. Click OK. Select the Perspective Viewport. On the Object Info palette, change the following field. Background Render, RenderWorks Style, Realistic, Exterior, Final. If you don't have RenderWorks, choose OpenGL instead. The viewport will display a red striped border, indicating that it needs updating. On the Object Info palette, click Update. The viewport will turn black, and take some time to render. This is dependent on your computer's specification, but the result will be very pretty. If you don't want to wait, you can press escape to cancel the render process, but you can continue to work while the scene renders. Notice the teapot shaped indicator that shows you how rendering is progressing. Click the home button on the resource browser. This built-in rendering style contains settings ideal for rendering outdoor scenes and uses the physical sky that links the Heliodon sun object to a sunny sky background. Notice the render style and the physical sky background have been imported into the file. Move your viewports to create a pleasing layout on the sheet. You can add more text directly onto the sheet layer you can add supporting images to the sheet layer using File, Import, Import Image File. Add drawing labels. Double click on the Plan Viewport. When the Edit Viewport dialog opens, check Annotations and then click OK. Notice that the other viewport's footprint is visible but grey. If it's not visible, Turn on Show Other Objects in Edit Mode on the right of the toolbar above the Exit Viewport Annotation button. Click the Dims Notes toolset and click Drawing Label. There's no need to change the preferences. Click once on the drawing to position the drawing label and again to set its rotation. Notice that the label automatically picks up the viewport name, number and scale. Click Exit Viewport Annotation at the top right of the screen. 
Repeat the process to add a drawing label to the perspective viewport. Once inside the viewport editor, you can continue to use the smart cursor to assist in aligning objects to other viewports so that your plan will look well laid out.